Hey everybody, Texas Trucker here, Lance is performing Shabba on the Star Mopar.com. It is Friday night about 9.45. Just cranked out a video on this custom ratchet I made. Uh, very, very cool little deal. Also covered some tool sales for you. If you want to see more on this, check that video out. Might make a standalone on it if there is enough desire. But right now, while I'm out here, before I go in and shower all this nasty rust and dust off of me, I figured I've got a video I need to crank out, because it's kind of time sensitive in the event that I've sort of got to gift some of these tomorrow. So, <laughs> if you followed around for a long time, you know I always plug Alpha Gloves. I get a 20% uh, discount code with Lone Star Mopars. I make nothing off of that. Uh, I just do that, you know, so A, you can find some good gloves, and B, you can save some money. And uh, this all goes back, if you don't know the story, I nearly lost my thumb. It was pulled into a bandsaw. Uh, wasn't necessarily cut, but was crushed. It is a lot better, by the way. The nail is back and everything. Uh, it just, sometimes it works good and sometimes it doesn't. I don't have, like, near the grip strength I used to with it. Uh, it doesn't really have feeling, if that makes any sense. I guess for everyone that told me, you know, you had, like, injuries to your fingers, thumb, toe, whatever... Uh, you probably relate to it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to correlate saying that to experiencing it. <laughs> but, uh, like, it seems like it would work just fine, but, like, when I do this, it's totally different with that hand than it is with this one. This is just like, there's kind of something there, you know. So, staying optimistic. Hopefully that comes back around, but, it, you know, at least it's, I still have a thumb, you know. It could have certainly been worse. But, that's how I found Alpha Gloves, you know. The doctor was like, yeah, you need to wear gloves. And I was like, what gloves? You know, I figured he was going to tell me go down to Walgreens and buy these on aisle six or something. And he just kind of had a dumbfounded look on his face. So I started looking up gloves, contacting people. And Josh at Alpha is the one person that actually, well, I take that back. One company did respond, but it was like some BS, you know, legal statement. They couldn't recommend things. Uh, yeah. So, you know, to their credit, they responded, but uh, this was the guy that was actually like, man, that's terrible, you know, tell me more about it, give me a call, you know, let me know what's going on, and we'll see what we can help you with. Totally blown away, especially when you get ignored by people and sent legal jargon from another company, so. Uh, that said, I've been wearing the uh, <clears throat> big leather impacts at work for a long time. I have almost, almost worn a hole in two places on them. Uh, in the next video we do with Alpha, you'll probably see me bring them. I would show them to you now, but I honestly forgot to bring them home from work because I'm dead tired. So, what did I do this time? Well, here's what I did. I'm just going to throw this down for you and kind of walk you through it. So, uh, it's very difficult to see all of that. So we're going to slide that over here, hopefully not have too much of a mess, and throw it down. These are on closeout. These were the standards in green. This is a size small. That is not for me. That is for my mom. She's been a trooper, you know, like kind of ready to, uh, uh, I guess, call 911, you know, if the, if the gantry fell on someone uh, or if, you know, I got crushed by something. And she's always, you know, I typically give her like the Hazette gloves and my sister the Ghidorah ones. But uh, now she's going to have some proper ones in green. I'm hoping those fit. I give her large. That's what I have. And she wears them. But, you know, I don't know how well they really fit her. I assume not very. So my hope and dream is that these fit her well. But uh, that is her gift for tomorrow. Uh, right here, I kind of wanted to try just the standard, you know, mechanic in green. And this is sort of a two-fold deal, quite literally, because I have another pair here. And what that's going to be is a backup for my nephew. That's honestly what that's going to be. So, throwing that to the side, that's our uh, three green gloves there. I did this red standard for my sister. She's always over here helping. Uh, she puts herself in a little bit more precarious positions, you know, than mom. So, uh, she's covered now. Those Ghidorah gloves look really cool, but they're like the cheapest mechanic gloves on the market. You know, from Mechanics, the brand. And if she did anything more than just like, you know, hold and brace things, they're, they're not going to hold up very long, unfortunately. So you'll probably still see them in Ghidorah themed unboxings, but now she'll have those. My nephew, this is kind of a cool story some of you will like. He's here wrenching with me. I always give him black alphas. In fact, this pair right here, uh, I wear the old worn in broken down ones, you know, that are covered in grease. I give him like the ones that aren't filthy. 
because uh, I'm a nice guy like that, right? So uh, he has started working with me like at work, you know, like real world get a paycheck work, not like, hey, you know, my uncle does a lot of crazy stuff in his shop that's kind of sketchy and I'm going to help him. <laughs> so uh, at work we have the leather gloves that nearly took my thumb off, uh, which I never wear. Uh, they also are pretty hot. You know, we were like had a streak where we were 100 plus every day for quite some time. Uh, now we're in the 70s and 80s, but ridiculously humid, so it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and then our other glove is what I call a frog glove or a grip glove. I honestly think it has frog and grip written on it, uh, but not together. But it's essentially like a string knit cotton, right? And then the other side is a blue palm, like fingertip all the way down to the palm. And it's designed not just to help you grip something, but like to grip things that are wet. Uh, a couple of the guys at the shop love them. Uh, we've got like, you know, typically the fabricators, you know, prefer like the thick leather ones. And then everyone else is like, oh yeah, these are great. <laughs> yeah, I can hold slick stuff. And that's awesome. But my nephew, he is accustomed to wearing these when he's here at the house with me. And uh, he started wearing the frog grip gloves at work. And it was the second day he was like, do we have any of those gloves like you have at home here? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, I've got my pairs, you know, that I'm wearing, but you know why? And he said they made his hands super sweaty, which they do, especially when it's hot. And then he said they reek. Um, that's something I've probably like grown accustomed to. Um, but I also don't wear them as frequently. So he had two days with those and he was done with them. And I said, yeah, you know, let me, let me bring some in for you. And so I sat him down in front of the computer. I said, here's Alpha's website. You know, this is the standard glove. What do you think? What do you think he picked? You, kn you know I got him green as a backup, so we know it's not that. There's a plethora of other colors. There's this, which would be black. You know, it's, this might confuse you until we get to the next glove, but there's black, there's red like I got my sister. Uh, there's like coyote, um, maybe another one. But you know what he picked? Some of you will be proud. That. And you're thinking, oh, he got a black glove just like he wears with your place. You know, there's nothing special there. No, 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 no. This is not black. I mean, it does look black, but it's technically not called black. This is called stealth. Uh, one of the reasons I'm filming this is so you can kind of be aware of like, it helps to see the gloves like in person in hand, right? So if you look at this and then you look at that, this is sort of like more of a reflective silver on my hand. And then this is sort of more of like a murdered out version. The telltale sign is here, the splits between the fingers. Check this out. This one is black. So this is what they call the stealth. And that is what he picked out. I figured some of you would think that was cool, but that's what he went with. Now this was sort of something, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna keep these here at the house and uh, take the extra large ones to work. So I'll have them there. But I had loved the look of these. If you recall, uh, when Josh sent things out for me to test and everything, uh, he sent some standards like this. We didn't know my size. We did large and extra large. Uh, both fit really well, but the large obviously being what happened to me, I'm going to go with the smallest one that I can get on comfortably, which is probably advisable. But I have these. You've seen them in a ton of videos. The red impacts. This is the exact same thing, just in green. And uh, I think it looks killer. I'm super excited about them. What I think I'm going to do, my red ones... They are no, by no means worn out, but they look terrible. Like they look like they should be thrown away, but they're still still together and functional. I'm going to keep those here. I think I'm going to keep these here. And then the extra large reds I might take to work just so I have the padding on the palm. That's the difference, the big difference here. You have impact protection. And then when I take these out of the bag for you, you're going to see the other selling point of the vibe. And that, of course, if you recall from our initial video, it's going to be right here on the palm so like if you're uh, doing stuff with an impact all day and over time you know like if i'm talking all day you know or long extended periods of time it starts to like wear your hand out this is a very very welcome addition to your arsenal of ppe so they look so good especially even out of the bag just the black and green the sublime super nice so i think these are going to stay here and uh, they'll be in line to replace the red ones and then, like I said, I think I'll take the red extra larges to work. So that'll be nice. Last thing I brought in, and this is something, not going to lie, I'm not going to use right now, but I hopefully will use be using soon. I'm going to go ahead and cut them. The plan is, I think I covered it in a previous channel update earlier in the year. Like I had a couple of things I wanted to accomplish this year. 
And if at all possible, I was wanting to like get set up with a uh, TIG welder, right? I've never TIG welded in my life. We don't do it at work. You know, everything's like MIG or stick way back in the day. Kind of depends what metal we're dealing with. But uh, long story short, that is what I was wanting to do. And if I can line up a deal on a TIG welder, I plan to bring it in not knowing anything. Just basically, you know, teach myself, self-educate if you will. And what I mean by that is make sure I don't do anything stupid by probably watching some videos and then go ahead and just practice 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 because that's honestly the only way you get good at anything in life so i plan to do that and when i do this is what i plan to wear i've got welding gloves here and uh, they're not the el cheapos you know they're actually lincoln uh, they're pretty nice in all honesty but you know they work good for mig but for tig i feel like you know i kind of want something a little bit more precise but protective you know for where you're holding uh, not necessarily the trigger, but the tongues, uh, the metal. So this is what I did. I picked up these. These are the Renegade A6. They're just kind of like a, a basic glove, right? But I think they'll work really well for TIG welding, and that's what they're going to be for. And I'm going to do everything I can to only use them for that. So that's the plan there. Uh, super comfortable in hand. It's almost like you could go golf in these, whatever, you know, sports. If we get old and we, we drive a, a fancy little old Chrysler, you know, whatever we're doing. It's like a driving glove type of a deal. But I think they'll be really nice. You got Alpha across the thumb there. You got the logo here on the front. That's an open cuff. Fits pretty well, I must say. But that's literally what I'm going to do with those, is use them for TIG welding. So, uh, don't have the TIG welder, hopefully that will be a coming addition to the shop. So, this will be for me, it'll be staying here as the successor to the Red Vibes. But yeah, so these will be my nephew's stealth gloves that he will have at work. Um, again, here he can use, you know, like mine, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, have similar hand sizes at this point. His might, might wind up being bigger than mine, I don't know. You might have to bump them up to the extra large at some point in time. But uh, yeah, the ones I got for my mom and sister, I'll let them pick if they want to like leave them here, take them home, whatever, you know, whatever floats their boat. But uh, that's basically it. And then again, uh, got my nephew a backup pair so I can kind of let him pick, I guess from that front would be the way to go. So we have the Renegade A6 future pig welding glove we've got the stealth murdered out black for my nephew we've got a brand new pair of vibes we've got the standard mechanics over here in green just because they look really good and uh, we're gonna see how those hold up for us but I will tell you there's a chance just a small chance there might be some new stuff coming from alpha and I mean new brand new I don't even know what it is type of new not just you know me bringing in some more gloves for people but no new new so new I don't know what it is new and uh, that to me is very exciting. Again, I will do everything in my power to remember to bring, you know, like my used ones over. Uh, I've got the leather ones at work right now. That's what I have there. I've got the, uh, this pair that's filthy, you know, somewhere on the truck, I think in the engine bay. Red ones are sitting on the cow last I remember. So uh, I'll get those over here, kind of show you, you know, how they're doing. Because again, that's real world work long-term reviews you know the stuff that's most relevant in my opinion so with that said i am i'm totally drained i got to get inside edit a couple of videos get one of them uploaded for you and get some sleep like i'm i'm gassed so wanted to at least have something to document this in the event that we release this video so uh, again basically successors for me tig welding gloves for my nephew for my mom and sister and hey that's that's what it is so i'll have this for them tomorrow and maybe i can con some labor out of them again <laughs> gotta keep your workers happy right so <laughs> we shall see uh you, you feed them and you give them some cool stuff every once in a while and you know it goes a long ways so keep that in mind but uh, with that said lonestarmopars.com is the website you can find us facebook twitter instagram all three at Lone Star Mopars. with that said i do hope you enjoyed if you've picked up alpha gloves let me know what did you buy why did you pick it most importantly how has it held up for you how does it compare to what you previously wore uh, all that stuff is good feedback for folks. Similarly, if you have not and you like, oh man, those, those look killer. Or, hey, you know, I, I'm also wanting to get into TIG welding or just bought a machine and I was looking for a good glove. 
20% off, try them. You know, Lone Star Mopars is the discount code. Again, I make nothing from that. I have zero incentive, you know, like financially to tell you that. It's just passing along what I think. Granted, with these, I have no experience. Based on everything else, I think they're going to be good. Uh, they're comfortable now. That's why it's still on my hand. <laughs> so, uh, try them out. 20% off. You know, save yourself some money. If you love them, great. You can reorder. If you hate them, you save 20% on them at least, right? So, I uh, can't do that at Harbor Freight anymore. No, just kidding. But uh, with that said, I'm going to quit rambling. I really got to go. <laughs> and, uh, fireworks are going off all around me. It's crazy out here. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend. I'll catch you back here for more from the shop.